Welcome to the Fire Capture tutorial. Today I'd like to show you uh, how to connect your telescope interface with Fire Capture, and I'd also like to give you some some tips on how to set up the the guiding interface in Fire Capture. Okay, to to set up your telescope interface, press on the press the telescope settings button here, or press any other settings button which opens the settings. Go to Hardware Telescope and uh, check the, the Use Telescope Interface button here and it uh, opens a, a list with the ported uh, interfaces in Fire Capture. The, the most common interface is ASCOM. ASCOM is a telescope standard and uh, probably all modern um, telescope mounts support this. So if you have an ASCOM compatible mount, pick this, select this one from the list. There are a few other Interfaces, um, cookbook camera auto guider with an, um, yeah, the leftover from a, a cookbook home build camera project that uh, dates back into the early 90s and maybe some, there are some users around having an old uh, auto guider board left from that project and they can use this one, but I'm probably the only one using this interface. And um, another option is a camera internal SD4 port. Um, there are a few cameras around, like uh, ASI or QHY, which comes with an internal SD4 port, and uh, this di connects directly to the SD4 port of the of the telescope mount. So if you're going to use this setup, select camera internal SD4 port from the list here. And the last supported interface is a shoestring GP USB. Um, this is a small uh, USB relay box that connects to the to the mount, and uh, yeah, if you use this one, select it from the list here. I'm gonna select ASCOM here, which is uh, the most common interface. After selecting from the list, press the Initialize Interface button. This initializes uh, the interface. So for ASCOM, it shows a small information dialog that there is uh, another dialog coming, and uh, you need to select the related ASCOM driver from the from the list from the ASCOM telescope chooser list here. I'm in simulator mode, so I'm just going to click simulator. You can all see the properties, but I'm just click OK here. So it now initializes, and if it successfully initializes the interface, it brings a small information dialog. Okay, now we have initialized the the telescope interface. What you see now is that in the preview window, in the right upper corner here, you see small four, four small green arrows here. This is just imitating a hand controller button. So um, the first step after initializing the interface would be checking if the, if the interface is working. So just click on that buttons and see if you and check if you see a, a, co a correction in the, in the related direction on your on your mount. So, in pressing, you need to see a reaction in the in the mount that ensures that the interface is working. Um, so, there are some more options over here in the telescope settings. Um, you can, if you have a very poor mount with had a lot of error in one direction, you can check the send periodic corrections option here and uh, insert some time interval and uh, some duration uh, and it will correct the related axis uh, on the, with that receives value. So that's useful if you have a very poor old mount which, which has a lot of error, uh, driving error in one direction and you can compensate here a little bit for. Um, okay, we have set up the telescope interface. I'd um, like to show you now the, the auto guiding interface in Fire Capture. Um, there is, after setting up the telescope interface, there is an option auto, auto guide available here. You can also add this action to the, to the toolbar, which is a little bit more handy. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna show you how to open the layout settings, system layout, and add the auto guide action to the toolbar. Let's just move this a little bit up. Okay. Okay, now we have the, the auto guiding action over here. And we can enable auto guiding by checking this 
this auto guiding checkbox here. Um, when checked, you see a small information here informing you that the auto guiding is enabled, and you see a small red cross over here. So this is uh, the target point uh, for for the co for the for the guider. It means it will try to to place the planet on, on keep the planet on on that on that cross centered. Um, you need to know uh, auto guiding and fire capture will only work on planets uh, because it uses a center of brightness algorithm to define to calculate the, the center, and uh, that will not uh, that will fail. That algorithm will fail on, on lunar or solar. Uh, target and uh, so it will only work on planets. So, um, to set well, when you first time use the auto guide, you probably need to, to set up the the, the auto guider uh, parameters. So you can you can open these the auto guider parameters either by clicking on the on the options button here on the small red triangle here, or you can select the Auto guiding settings here, and it will show the related auto guider settings under hardware auto guiding. And uh, the most you probably need to play with these values uh, in in a way that you find the best best values that works best with with your mount. And um, the most important uh, values are correction time and guider cycle time. Um, you can set the, the related values for every axis separately and um, correction time is um, if, you, if you imagine uh, this as a hand controller you, you can just think of correction time as the duration on how long you press on, on the button and um, guider cycle time is, is just uh, the frequency how often you press on the button though you just keep this in mind when, when setting up the values so, but you probably need to to find the, the values that work best for for your mount. So, um, if you don't see a correction here, you probably need to increase the, the correction time, so it uh, it corrects for a longer time on in the axis. So you need to uh, reduce the guider cycle time, so it corrects more often. Um, but you really need to figure out yourself the values that works best. There were there were more values here for you can also use a backlash compensation here for every axis and uh, tolerance in, in pixels. Um, tolerance is just um, the error in pixels um, after which the, the correction uh, steps in. So um, the planet needs to uh, be off at least by these amount of pixels uh, before the, the auto guider steps in. Um, there is uh, the guiding rate, um, all the available for, for the ASCOM interface, and you can also swap directions if you like. And um, yeah, there are some more options here for running auto guiding in a separate thread, and um, you, you need to play with these values, but uh, I recommend not touching them. Okay. Um, well, I just think what I what I've missed, but um, yeah, you see now whenever uh, fire capture corrects uh, f uh, sends a correction to the to the mount, you see the the button here flashing flashing red. It shows you now that it corrects in south direction on the mount, and it also uh, uh, animates the button over here that's just an indication that auto guiding is still working and uh, yeah well I hope um, that explains the so auto guiding fire capture a little bit um, hope you enjoyed it hope it was informative for you and uh, see you next time bye